Hey, what's happening you awesome people? Welcome back to another video. If you or your loved ones are living in an apartment building or working in an office that's located in a high rise building, you have to pay attention here. We all know about the recent incident in London where a 24 floor building caught fire which led to a number of deaths. The main question that should come up in your mind after this is what can I do to survive if I was in that situation? Now I'm not an expert but given the research I can give you some ideas which can lead you to your own survival plan. Start up by going to your city's main website and search for safety and fire prevention and you will find a bunch of different answers where they talk about how you should evaluate evacuate using the building's fire escape plan or in the worst case possible stay inside cover up the door with like wet towels and stuff like that. They might also talk about the less than $50 safety kit that could help you survive in a situation like that which is obviously important but I will leave it up to you to decide whether you want it or not but I will highly recommend this one option which talks about washcloth. Washcloth is basically a wet cloth you put over your mouth and nose to help breathe in fire smoke. The reason for that would come later in this video. The website will also talk about the fact that you should call the emergency helpline and let them know about your situation so they can decide what you should do. These are the best steps possible, I understand that, as these guys are trained for dealing with situations like that and all that kind of stuff. But this video is meant for that one moment where you do not have enough time and you have to be very prompt with your decision. And that I really hope that you never have to face it, but it's always good to be prepared for it rather than not knowing what to do. First thing, you have to stay calm so your mind can actually work. One of the reasons they want you to call someone is this human psychology where they think that someone is an expert in a situation like a doctor when you're sick. They might be able to help you through it a lot easier than anyone else, even yourself. While one of the things that doctor does apart from the fact that you could do your own research and find the same kind of medication as he does is that he gives you the inner strength that don't worry, I got you. Second and last thing is that there are some safety devices available that are meant to help you evacuate a high building in an emergency situation. One of them is this kit called Sky Saver. I believe it's around 1500 US dollars something like that. If you do not have that kind of cash on you, you can come up with your own kit like that. Just buy a climbing rope which is long enough for you to be able to drop it down to the ground from your window or balcony and a couple of safety harnesses depending on how big your family is or or you might even have a visitor at that time. Make sure you have something in the apartment to tie the rope to. This is where you should also have something that you can use to break the window because some of the buildings don't allow open access through the windows. And this is where I will mention that washcloth that we were talking about in the beginning. The main reason for that preferred option of staying inside the building behind doors that are covered in the wet towels etc is because the actual smoke of the fire causes more death than the flame itself. And if you open the window etc the smoke from outside will enter the apartment and that will not be a good situation at all. And having that wet cloth covering your face would help you breathe much easier in the smoke as well. And that is all I have for you amazing people today. Hopefully this video gives you an idea to come up with a prompt safety plan. With that being said, I'm out. Peace.